from okay. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be testing coconut apricot wax. I'm going to be mixing it with uh, coconut, coconut paraffin wax and I'm going to be adding stearic acid to make uh, the candle harder, therefore easier to ship during the summer months, okay? So let's see if this works and when I get ready, I'll see you in a bit. Yes! Welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be making an unboxing for you guys. I got two packages that I want to share with you. Uh, one is uh, a wax that I ordered from an Etsy store. Uh, it's coconut apricot wax. And then this box in here has more fragrance oils that I ordered from the candle maker uh, store. Okay, so first I'm going to open the, the wax. This came really fast. I think the name of the company is Shajoti uh, Candle Company, I believe it is. I'm gonna link it below. It's an Etsy store. Uh, it's the uh, one it came re recommended from one of my subscribers. So okay, so let's see in here. Okay, so we have the receipt. So I ordered four pounds, and the total amount was. $38.99 and it says in here uh, item total it was $38.99 and they give me a shop a discount of $5.85 so the total came to $33.14 okay and the name of the company is a Chajotar Candle Company and I'm gonna link it below on the description box okay so the reason why I ordered only four pounds guys is because I want to try to uh, do some testing with this wax again. I believe um, when I started making candles, oh this is nice, with love and light. Okay, let's see if I can just, can you read this? I'm gonna put all the description and the, here they give me 15% off on the next uh, uh, purchase. Okay, that sounds great, thank you. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So these are pieces, I believe. You know what, I have in here a uh, scale, I'm gonna weigh them. Just for the hell of it. On top. It's not that I'm mistrusting the company, it's just that since I have the scale in here as well. Okay, so two and a half pounds. Okay, so they give me a little bit more, 4.3, uh, uh, 4 pounds, uh, 30, uh, 35 ounces, so. No, four pounds, three ounces. So, you know what, that's nice again. So yeah, so this is it. And it came wrapped in this beautiful, like, wrapping paper. And there's nothing else. Oh, there's a stone in here. Yes! It looks like a piece of quartz. Beautiful. It's nice to get surprised with stuff that you don't expect, you know? Thank you so much. So, you know, I'm happy. With their, uh, they were very quick. I ordered and in a couple of days and had it. My hands, it was packed very nicely, you know, and nothing broken, everything looks perfect. Let me just open this and let's see how this wax looks. I'm gonna have to put it in a, in a separate container uh, label because I may forget what it is. It's a very nice tissue paper. And wrap on paper, I mean on, on plastic bag. Let me get it closer so you can see this better. Okay, let me see. To bring you up closer. And you tilt it. Okay. So this is, so it's still uh, with the air out. It's very soft. It's very soft. So I don't know how this wax is gonna hold on in, in through shipping to, uh, on the summertime because it feels very soft. So, you know, so that's something to take into consideration. Okay. So this is why I just wanted to make this video guys because what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to mix this with, uh, with another uh, coconut wax that I have in there uh, with coconut paraffin, maybe by using the paraffin. And I'm gonna also add uh, 
Stearic acid, whatever, uh, the, the powder, this stearic acid to this candle uh, to make uh, the wax harder because uh, this is way too soft to sell during the summertime. So may this may make this uh, harder. We'll see. I'm gonna test it. So stay tuned, guys. So I'm planning to to mix it with that candle size. I believe six uh, forty. Let me just get it. Hold on. 6046 is coconut paraffin from Candle Science. So, um, let's... yeah, coconut paraffin. I think the paraffin is gonna make it harder. So, uh, therefore, uh, it may be better to ship. At the same time, I don't know how the HT is gonna go. Show you what I got. I wasn't planning to do this unboxing for this fragrance oil, but might as well, since I'm doing the, uh, the unboxing, might as well just do it at the same time. So this company I used before and I really like their oils, guys. I think it's very uh, unique. So that's why I decided to order more to keep testing. You know, as you all know, I'm, I'm starting to test formulations from a new candle line. And I'm working on my candles. So I decided to order more because I'm, I like, I like these oils. Okay, so let me just put this to the side here. Let's see how many oils are ordered from this company. Let's see. I order um, I order 25 oils. So, so here they are. Ta-da! Okay, so here they are the oils. Okay, so everything looks nice and neat. So I'm gonna leave this for another video, guys. Because I want to concentrate on my waxes that I'm having here. And this video is going to be all about mixing uh, coconut waxes together to see if I can get a better mix, a harder candle, easier to ship during the summertime, during the summer months, you know. Uh, because you, we all know when it gets hot on a plane and when you're shipping something, uh, you want to make sure that it gets there in one piece and that it's not all melted, okay? So let me just put this away. Put this away. Pull the other wax out and I'm going to meet you guys at the candle bar, okay? Yes! Okay guys, welcome back. So let me show you. So this is the coconut apricot that I have in here. And I have more in here. I don't want to play with. Okay, perfect. And the last one. Okay. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna be mixing this with this wax. Candle Science 6046. I'm gonna be doing that, and then I'm gonna be adding stearic acid. This, you use one, ta uh, one tablespoon per one pound of wax, okay? So I'm gonna do like half and half ratio, you know, of, for both uh, waxes. And I'm gonna be doing different containers. I'm not gonna be using the, uh, the Presto Pot because on the Presto Pot, I have my PV600 wax, which is my, the one that I'm using, okay? And I wanna stay away from soil altogether, you know, on this kind of testing. Okay guys, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a pound of wax, combining the two of these. Uh, I'm gonna be adding, instead of adding one, uh, a teaspoon per pound of uh, wax, I'm gonna be adding a quarter of a teaspoon. I see that works better, okay? You know, you might as well just try different things, you know? And I wanna buy, I mean, I wanna get a nice, I wanna make a real candle out of this. I'm gonna use these cups, okay? So I'm gonna make four candles, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna use one fragrance oil combination in all the fours so I can test uh, the HD and how they burn, you know, etc. So I think that's gonna be better. I'm gonna be using for this because I have in here it's different uh, wax. You use different wigs, okay? So in here I have in here from 1617.com. Uh, they recommend a CDM wicks for uh, this kind of waxes, okay? So they recommend for the inner diameter of the container, which is 
the inner diameter is this. Measure like this. So this is two and a half. Okay, two and a half inches. But you have to remember that this is gonna taper down. This. Okay. So you have to take that into consideration. Because these are gonna be testers, I don't worry about it because I'm not gonna be selling this. It just just to test myself. Um, okay. So because if I was to uh, to measure the inner container, remember the bottom is gonna be smaller. The bottom of this is like a it's an inch and a half. So it's a whole inch difference between the, uh, the beginning and the, and the bottom of this. Technically, if I were to, to follow the bottom of the, of the glass, I would have to use something very small, something, uh, a CDM4 for this. Okay. Ta -da. So I'm gonna use this four here. Okay. So first I'm gonna measure the wax and I'm gonna lay, label each one of these so I don't get confused. I'm just gonna put a, this like a white sticker so I know which one is which to the side. There's nothing guys when uh, that could substitute uh, testing when it comes to candle making. It's very important that you do this Anytime you're gonna make a new candle, you know, anytime you use a new fragrance oil, a new wick series, you must test, test, test. So now I need to measure, okay, now that I have this done, let me just put it here. Okay, so let me just put this to the side because I need space. And I'm gonna be using my grill for this, which is, uh, makes sense. Okay, so now I need to, to find out what kind of, what amount to use for the waxes. So let me just do that right now. Let me just move all these oils out of, out of the way. I'm doing some testing using these oils, so I want to keep them to the side. But I don't want to put them away because I'm curing the candles that I'm testing. Put the wax in here. Let me get that. Very important to have this, guys. Always to document everything. Today is the 20th. How hot I need to burn this wax, and when to burn the, uh, when to get the, when to add the fragrance oil, etc., etc. So let me just find that out, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna be using CDN fives for these containers. So I need four of these. about all the sizes <laughs> because you know me I like to have all the options within reach you know it's I've always been like that you know it's because there's nothing more frustrating than just trying to get something that you need and knowing that it's the only one that you don't have you know I like to put it to them first all of them at once I hope that I get good HD out of these guys because I've never been able to get any, you know? So, I don't know, we'll see. Honest opinion, saying, okay, I'll try my best to get the best HD. I tried all the different additives that I could to make this a bomb candle, full contact, you know? I like to use the straw instead of using a pen and because you can squeeze it so you can control it, you know, going in. If you have something that is rigid, you cannot uh, put pressure on, on the wick itself, then it slides right out. And I just wanna have control over and placing this. I love doing this guys. It feels like I'm you know it's like it's like you know when you're expecting a baby whatever it is uh you just want the best for it so you put the your best knowledge and everything just to make sure that everything that you did will give you the best results. And the last one this is the only time consuming thing just you know, prepping the Prepping the, prepping the jars. That's why it's good for you to clean them really well before you put, put them away with alcohol so you know you don't have to clean them again. Every time you do your, uh, you know, your cleaning. Okay, so now I need to find the water weight for, on this so I can figure out how much wax I'm gonna need. Okay, so I was right, guys. Uh, they recommend to pour the, uh, to add, I'm gonna heat the wax to 210 215, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it 220, okay? Add fragrance oil at 210 and pour at 200, 290. Okay, so this is what I recommend. They recommend you to heat the wax at 220 or less, 
but not below 210. Add the fragrance oil between 210 and 200 and pour between 200 and 190, okay? Now, I know that this is true because the other times that I've done the coconut wax, the coconut apricot wax, whatever you call it, I've done it too cold. And that's why maybe I'm not getting any good uh, hot roll. So let's try it, okay? So I need to find out the water weight in here. And for those of you guys that don't know how to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how. So you get an empty, the empty container that you want to uh, be using, you tear this, uh, you get a cup, get some water. Okay, so you, turn, you tear this, some zero, so you put water up to the, uh, the level that you want to use. In here, you don't have to be the whole glass, just like for example in here. Okay, six ounces of water weight. Now, some people said to multiply this by 0.16. So let's see how that works. If I could find a calculator. Okay, let's see if this works. I saw this. Okay, six ounces. So six times 0.86. So according to this, it's 5.1 ounces of wax. Let's see about that. Okay, so let me just use the candle calculator. Okay. It was pretty accurate, so it the uh, the, the wax calculator on the, on the on on the iPhone told me it was five ounces of wax, and for ten percent fragrance oil is 0.5. Okay. But that's for each candle, by the way. It's not for all of them, because I'm gonna be using four different candles. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be mixing on each candle. Okay, so now we have to figure out which fragrance oil I want to I wanna be using for these candles. Something that's going to give me... Uh, something that I know that's going to be strong enough and that's going to give me great uh, HT. Okay, I'm going to use 100% cocoa apricot plus a quarter teaspoon of steric acid. Okay. Let's see. Then I'm gonna be using cocoa apricot. Plus, IGI 6046, equal parts, plus a quarter teaspoon, acetic acid. Guys, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna add also, uh, I'm gonna bring my problem wax into play. I have it, why not? So then I'm going to add problem 600 and the cocoa apricot, equal parts. And I'm gonna make it a quarter teaspoon stearic acid, okay? And number four, I'm gonna add the problem 600, three to one, cocoa apricot. And it's gonna be, so I cover all the bases. I do wanna try the problem 600 because it's my favorite wax, so, um, yeah, and I'm gonna be mixing with, like, with paraffin and, and soy. So I don't need to, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be uh, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, hard. Okay, so now we know what we have, okay? So on number one, so I know we need five ounces of wax, okay? This one is gonna be complete five ounces. Okay, so let me get something to cut this. Ta -da! Yeah, guys, I can see this melting on a on a plane or any like 4.9, 5.1. Okay, five point. Five ounces, perfect. Okay, so this can number one, and a quarter teaspoon of stearic acid. Okay, so this is a quarter teaspoon in here. Okay, supposedly this makes the candle harder, we'll see. Okay, so candle number one, the wax is ready, so let me just put this in here. Candle number two, here, I'm going to need 2.5 ounces. This is the IGI 6046, it's very creamy, very like soft. Two ounces, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, perfect. Now I need to clean this because I don't want to contaminate 
that block. So I'm just gonna wipe it down. Always wipe everything down. You don't want to contaminate this. Okay, and now I need 2.5 from the other one. So let me tear. 2.5 from this one. 1.6, Just a tiny bit more. Perfect, 2.5. Let me just put this away. Again, very messy. But that's okay, we're testing. Okay, this one is ready. But I need to put the stearic acid, don't forget. Again, a quarter teaspoon of stearic acid. That's why it's so important, guys, to really document all this on the piece of paper. Everything you add, it needs to be documented, okay? So you can replicate the results on your next, on your next test. Okay, number two, ready? Number three, equal parts. So I need 2.5 ounces of coconut, apricot, 2.1. Okay, and now I need to get the problem so i'm gonna take it to the other scale that i have in there and i'm gonna take it from the pot and i'm gonna just put it in here actually not because that the one in the pot has five bars so uh let me just problem 200 with no five bar so i need 2.5 from this one this one is very hard 1.6 2.5 2 perfect you see this one i love this problem it's very clean very hard you know you don't have to add Steric acid because it's hard by itself. Okay, so this is kind of number three, but I need to add steric acid. Okay, put up a teaspoon. Perfect. Again, the reason why I'm adding steric acid is because this wax is very soft. You don't want to have the wax melt on the way to the airport. Okay, so this one is going to be a problem. 600, it's gonna be three to one, okay? So I'm gonna, okay, so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna make it uh, three ounces of problem, 600, and two ounces of, uh, of coconut, okay? So let me just tear this. I'm gonna put two ounces in here of this. It's so sticky. I'm just gonna put whatever is in this amount in here. Okay, 2.1, and the rest, I'll put into okay, 2.1, Okay, so let me just get the problem. And guys, I'm not gonna add any fiber. I'm just gonna leave it like this. So I need to get five ounces, 4.7. Okay, I'm not gonna add any fiber. I'm only gonna add steric acid, okay? That's all. So I can compare the HT with all of them without any fiber. It's better to make it simpler like that than, you know, it. So. For better comparison, if I wanna use, okay, so let me just, before I keep talking, let me just add the stearic acid first. Cut off a teaspoon. Okay. Let's put this away. Okay, so all the waxes are ready, guys. One hand, hands, yeah, full of wax. Again, it's very messy wax. Okay, perfect. Just to keep it simple, okay. And I'm gonna keep looking for different. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make this combination of oil. I just wanna make something more, something more simple. Okay. Let's see. Do you know what this hygiene? What, what is what is hygiene? It smells sweet. I don't like it. I don't know why I bought such a big bottle of this. Let's see this pipe tobacco. Oh my god, this smells really nice. This is from New York Scent. I'm gonna try this one. Um, cocoa butter cashmere from Paving Candle. Okay, let me just make test strips. This is very unusual scent. I don't think I ever used it. Yes, I used it a lot. Oh my God, this is a heaven, beautiful. You see what happens when you have so many scents, so many choices and you forget? And then pipe tobacco from New York Scent. I don't think I have enough to make four candles. That's the only thing. Beautiful. Let me see if I can find another. Okay, let me try this tobacco coffee blend from, it's not candles of supplies, it's the candle making store. 
Okay, let's see. Are you? I want to make a, a nice masculine scented candle. You know, nothing. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna add a citrus. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's see how this melon. Oh, this is very, very nice together. Wow. Oh my God, this is excellent, guys. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna need to order an, another bottle of this cocoa butter and uh, cashmere. Tobacco coffee blend is... But again, guys, it, this is what happened to me. You know, the smell is very nice on the strips, but once you make the candle, it, the smell is non-existent. So let's see, let's hope that this works. And I'm gonna be uh, curing this uh, for two weeks. So I'm gonna show you the candles on my on my live stream, but I'm not gonna be making any, any tests because as we all know, this is what happens, okay? So for every single candle, I'm gonna need 0 .5, 0 0.5 ounces of uh, fragrance oil. So I'm gonna convert that into grams because it's easy. Okay guys, so I asked Siri and she gave me the answer. 4.7. I'm gonna get a, a, a better scale than this because this is very inaccurate. Okay. okay. 4.7 for the next one. Okay, one down. Next one. Today's date, 520. Okay, 100%. And CDN, five. Okay, so this is gonna be number one. Might as well just put the whole information Number two, three to one, cocoa apricot, tonsilaric acid, CDN5. I know this is time consuming, but it must be done. You know, if you want to have the perfect candle, you want to have a, a, a good product that you can stand behind it, you have to go through all this testing. There's no cutting corners in here. You know, it's, some of you may just cut corners, you know what? It's, I can only tell you what I want to do, uh, what I'm doing for my own company. And uh, it's to be, putting out the best, the best candle that I can. Okay, so I have in here everything. So I'm gonna take you out and let's start cooking the wax. Yes! So again, all these oils, they are the same. The only difference is that I'm, I just measuring them separately. Okay, so let me arrange the lighting so I look pretty. Ta-da! This is gonna take a while because I remember now when I worked with this colonel apricot wax, I did not, one of the reasons why I think I did not get a good sheet is because I did not hit them uh, high enough. And I know this, you have to hit really high. So I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna hit them up like to 210 at least. We're going to paradise. Aloha, aloha. Okay, let's see how this is doing. I'm telling you guys, uh, this is one of my best investments, this grill that I got at Walmart, so you can buy anything. Any, any kind of griddle that you want, you know, the one that you make uh, pancakes, burgers, whatever, you know, just buy the cheapest one on Amazon. And um, it's really comes in handy when you wanna do testing like this on different waxes, so you don't have to uh, do the double boiler that's gonna take you all day. So, you know, it's, you have to find ways to really like uh, simplify things. I know that this tool is only coconut apricot or coconut paraffin. Actually, let me just, let me just get another one because I don't, this one, this one uh, doesn't have paraffin, so I'm gonna find another one for this one here. Because I don't wanna put paraffin, so I make sure that nothing gets contaminated, you know? Because then you don't have an accurate test. Yeah, this test, uh, this, this wax, the, the melting point is 129 degrees Fahrenheit. So, but I know you have to let it, um, you have to raise it, and uh, you have to make it, uh, you have to let it go to 200 at least. Two, two ten. I'm gonna let it go to 210, and then I go from there. So these two have basically the same formula, so I'm gonna use this for the two of them. I know that was the, my biggest mistake uh, before, that I uh, that I heated this up way too low. I mean, I think, I'm not sure. And so I'm gonna try and do what they recommend on the videos that I saw. And also I'm gonna follow what the, uh, at the Candle Week website also recommended. I know pr uh, problems, uh, previous 600, you can hide, no, you can go that high, there's no problem, the, the, uh, the wax, the paraffin uh, will not uh, burn. So the last candle, which is the one that has uh, three parts problem and one part cocoa apricot, it's the one that uh, melted the fastest. 
the other ones are taking their time. 152, 158, 160. Okay. So we still, we still ways to go. Oh my God, the tobacco scent on this, on these oils are driving me wild, baby. It's beautiful. If I like this combination, I'm gonna try using uh, the zinc core uh, wicks also, because I know these tend to a uh, mushroom, the CDN wicks. Uh, the zinc wicks are really, are really amazing, guys. They burn and they don't mushroom at all. It's, it's such a clean burn, you know. It's to me that the best. But I don't know how they're gonna reaction to this. So I'm, I'm, I'm using whatever is recommended at 1617.com. Let me talk to you guys about my uh, fitness journey. So, you know, I have my Peloton bike and I love it. You know, yesterday I did uh, one of their lessons, one of their rides, and it was so rewarding, guys. And uh, it, it pushes you to the limit. To me, it's nothing more rewarding like you challenge yourself to do something, you know, and having the instructor uh, push you, you know, and how you call it, uh, it, it motivates you, it, it, tell, it pushes you to go that extra mile and that extra step, you know, and once you finish doing that, it's, you feel like, you know, you are on top, on top of the world, you know, that's, I highly, highly, highly recommend it for all, any of you who are looking to get uh, fitness, uh, 178, and this one is completely melted. 174, 177, 192. Okay, these are all melted. Uh, but I, I want I want to reach them. I want to push them. Uh, I want them to get hotter. But this one's still a little bit of a... So yes, guys, you know, it's... it's to me, it's like... You no, know, I hate doing cardio. I never did it before because I, I find it boring, you know? And, you know, I know some... some I did buy way, way many, many years ago a rowing machine. Do you think I used it? No. Uh, was I ever uh, interested in getting a, like an elliptical machine or or a, a stationary bike? No, because I know I wasn't gonna use it, you know. And so, but this Peloton has so many classes within uh, the bundle of classes. So it's not only doing the bike; it's doing the bike. You can do core exercises, you can do yoga, you can do stretching, you can do uh, weightlifting, you can do camp, uh, boot camp. Uh, there's so many options you have, guys. It's and it's it really motivates you it's amazing it's life-changing just find whatever you love because everybody's different like and like me like you know i never liked doing the cardio and and the bike but my husband got me into it you know he's so motivated with this and he used to uh, bike ride to work to get his exercise done you know and i was really very dangerous uh he had an accident once you know and he needed surgery for his arm because he he fell and he broke a, a couple of bones and they had to put pins so it was not pretty. So this is safe. It gets your results. You do it anytime you want. You know, you don't have to go to the gym to get to go to a spin class. Okay, this is 209, 207, 201. Okay, and this one is ready. So these all ready, guys. They are about two, uh, 200. So I'm gonna add the oils to all of them and I'm gonna start mixing. All of them at the same time because they're all the same temperature above 200 which is what i want yes okay the temperature is 206 i'm gonna let it go until it goes 200 and then i'm gonna pour okay 201 i'm gonna pour this is number one this is number one can you see here we go so hopefully this will give me a lot of ht guys okay one and two ready again i'm pouring at 200 and number four okay Okay guys, so let me clean up and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay guys, welcome back. Let me just sit in the chair. Let me just show you the beautiful candles. Let me just bring this down. Ta-da! So here we have the four different candles. The first one is Cocoa Apricot, 100%. The second candle is Cocoa Apricot and IGI 646, equal parts. The third candle is Problem 600 and Cocoa Apricot. And this one is equal parts and the fourth one is problem 600 with a uh, cocoa apricot and this one is three parts problem 600 and one part cocoa apricot okay and they all have the same oil fragrance oil combinations which i'm having here from new york scent pipe tobacco 
from candle making, uh, the, the candle maker store. I had this tobacco coffee blend and from the flaming candle, cocoa butter cashmere. So equal parts. And also I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of stearic acid, okay? I'm adding this because as we all know, coconut apricot, coconut uh, uh, wax is very soft. So now that we are, uh, summer months are coming and you're gonna be shipping these candles, you wanna make sure that they're uh, hard. So by adding the stearic acid, it makes them harder. Technically, I don't know because I haven't tried that for uh, this particular uh, case, okay? So guys, these candles are gonna have to cure for at least two weeks. So I'm not gonna be able to give you my report on the HD, but at least I just wanted to show you guys that this is the test I'm conducting. Like I told you, I like to try different things around on the market to find out what works best for my candle line, okay? So far, my favorite, so far my favorite uh, wax that, I'm, that I love is PB600. That's the one that I have on the, on the melter port in there. Uh, so I'm sticking to that one. But you know what, if I like the way this comes out, I'm gonna give it a shot, who knows, you know? It's like I'm not set on anything yet, okay? Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave the video here guys and don't forget to uh, watch my live stream next Sunday. Uh, what time is it gonna be Sunday? Let's see, today is Thursday the 20th. Sunday, May 23rd is gonna be in my live stream, which I'm gonna be giving you my first impressions on these candles. Uh, the only thing that I'm be, the only thing that I'm gonna be able to test in here is the, uh, the CT, whether or not it's non-existent. And also I'm gonna be pushing my fingers to see if it's uh, hard or if it's not soft. Uh, yeah, so that's the only uh, kind of a uh, result that I can give you. Also, I'm gonna give you the results whether I have any sinkholes or anything, you know, how uh, I uh, like this, the, the tops. So uh, I'm gonna be able to report on that. On that. Okay guys, so on, on also, like I told you at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna be doing uh, an unboxing uh, review of the different scents that I got from Candle Makers Supply. Let me just show you again the box. Another video. I'm gonna be reviewing these oils that I just got in the mail from the, uh, the Candle Maker store. Like I told you, I have 25 different can, uh, fragrance oils in here, and I'm gonna be reviewing them one by one. And I'm gonna pick five or six to make uh, candles out of this one, okay? So I'm very excited about it. So, so keep on looking for these videos coming. I don't know which day. Uh, I'm concentrating again on this on this test. Um, also looking forward to seeing you guys on Sunday, May 23rd, uh, so we can talk about all these uh, beautiful uh, wax combinations, okay? And that's the way you make your own kind of line unique, different, you know? It's not, uh, you combining different things and just making your own proprietary blend, okay? Okay guys, so I'll see you Sunday, take care of yourself, and don't forget to share this content with friends and family. Also check out my other channel, Helpful Living with Michael. I have all the details down below on the description box. Uh, so I'll see you someday, okay? Take care. Bye. Yes!